Hey, what's up, my cochinos and cochinas? I'd like to welcome you back to another... Why do dogs keep barking every time I record? Fuck. Dogs are jealous because I got all the goods. Um, if you've seen the last video, the dog was fucking barking because um, of the food I had and shit. And today they're barking because I'm drinking beer and they're jealous because they don't get to have beer. Um, but it's cool. So I got caught out by a, by a guy named The Mal. Uh, I'm going to leave his... Uh, channel link in the description below and maybe in the comments he'll comment below and I'll pin his comments so you guys know go check out his channel he does chugs and shit he um, puts his son on videos and his son eats in silence like I don't know ASMR or something like that um, so go check that out and um, so he called me out and a guy named challenge accepted with the exclamation mark because I think there's another challenge accepted out there I'll link that Vato's channel in the description below as well. And then I think I'm going to call out somebody too to complete this challenge. Maybe a couple people. Let me think. Who could I call out? Um, hmm. I don't know. I don't really know who, who might want to complete this challenge. I'll just say if you want to complete this challenge, uh, you know, you could just hit me up. Let me know that you completed it. And uh, I'll check it out. Um, I'm sure the Mal and Challenge Accepted will check it out. But it's pretty much the 2 liter Chalada ch Chug. I prefer Modelo Chalada. But today I'm going to do Bud Light Chalada because that's what the Mal did. Um, so what you're supposed to do is get a Das Boot, which is a like a 2 liter glass boot uh, and chug it. But I couldn't do that because I tried to go on Amazon and order it. But Amazon won't deliver in my neighborhood, I guess because it's too ghetto or too violent or something. I don't know. Um, so we're doing the bootleg Das Boot. Uh, so we got a lug boot on deck. And then also I got a little surprise for you guys. Um, another boot right here. Let's go ahead and uh, show you what we got. We got the motherfucking uh, Bud Light Chalada there. And then uh, got one more for you because we got to do four. Um, right there. Orale, homie. That's how we do Das Boot in the hood. Um, if you're not from Germany or wherever the Das Boot originated, that's how we do it. So I'm going to go ahead and just get it started, homie. Um, and then also... What's going to make this video different than the other chug videos is I got a story for you, a story time. So I'm going to chug these and then give you a drunken story time, all right? My story time is going to be about the time that I showed up to work drunk. Um, yeah, the reason I showed up to work drunk is because I'm Mexican and that's how we go to work. Um, but the job that I actually had to do was very important. It was to help repair the Egyptian pyramids. Um, so you're going to want to hear that. And Egypt, if you're watching this, please let me come back. Um, you know, I love the Egyptian women, especially now that they're black. The blacker the berry, the sweeter the juice. So, you know, I got a Cleopatra. I need one. Anyways, let me just go ahead and get into this. And I'll tell you about the time that I helped repair the Egyptian pyramids when I showed up to work drunk. All right. Shit. Say that seven times fast. Um, subscribe below, subscribe to the mouse, subscribe to Challenge Accepted, and let's get all this liquid in our body, bro. Pause, right? Shit. Um, I don't know if it's a timed, I think it's just a challenge because the mouth took like two days to finish his. <laughs> no shade, homie. Just saying. Alright, let's see how fast we can do it. I just got done eating dinner, but no excuses, right? Shit. I'm gonna crack them, crack them open, both open, homie. The other ones I'll crack open in a minute. This is a lot of fucking liquid, bro. <sighs> Let's do it. Should I pray first? Lord, forgive me. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. God damn it, bro. Shit. What am I doing to my life, right? All right. <clears throat> my ancestors helped pick these fucking tomatoes on me. Shit. Might as well give them some fucking honor. Here we go. It's fucking delicious, by the way. I'll say that much. <clears throat> kind of fuck. That was like a throw-up burp. It was weird. <clears throat> there we go, homie. Hell yeah. I'm officially drunk. All right. <clears throat> ah, shit, homie. <clears throat> I got three more of these to go. What the fuck? I drive a limousine at nighttime. I'm doing this right after. <clears throat> so you know it's done. It's just the foam and shit. Ooh. All right. 
I don't know how I'm going to tell the story after I drink all this shit. Fuck. Hopefully I remember all the details. Ah, oh, shit. You guys got to quit challenging me to fucking challenges, bro. Quit challenging me. I'm not a challenge channel. I'm a mukbang channel, bro. I take food, I bang it in my fucking mouth. I've said that before. But it's cool. I'll complete the challenge if you ask me. It's all good. <sighs> Most of the time. But I am full as fuck. I'm barely halfway through. I fucking talk shit about the Mao taking two days and shit. And here I go, you know what I'm saying? I know challenge accepted is going to murder that shit for real. I'm taking four days. Apparently. <clears throat> Excuse me, apparently people that watch Chug Challenges <laughs> like the smell of it. People that are watching me record live don't like the smell of it. I'm referring to my dog. He covered his nose when I did that shit. <coughs> Alright, anyway. <laughs> my dog keeps laughing, I don't know, bro. <coughs> Our dog's supposed to laugh and shit? If you, let me know in the comments below because I don't know if there's something wrong with mine if I need to take it to the vet you know what I'm saying I'm a vet that on myself but like I need to take it to an actual animal fucking uh, place what do I do like when I walk in like that doesn't even sound right like my dog keeps laughing and I don't know what to do like is that a real problem what the fuck alright I'm talking I'm not even chugging it <sighs> fucking hate you Mal but I love you at the same time homie you uh you got a good channel it's uh, up and coming Excuse me. The white boy picked Bud Light, and I'm over here fucking being a disgrace. I gotta get at it. <laughs> Fuck, bro. Maybe it's easier to chuck it out of a fucking dash boot. I don't know. Oh, fuck. It looks hella dirty at the bottom, homie. Sorry, I work construction. Yes, I wear my lugs to construction. I don't wear the cat boots, bro. You gotta look good, you know what I'm saying? Bitches walk by and shit. You gotta have your lugs on and shit, bro. Fucking goddamn, bro. I thought this was gonna be easy. It's fucking feeling. Okay, enough uh, crying like a little bitch. But why, bro? Why do you gotta call me out, homie? Shit. What the fuck? I cracked it open earlier. Like a long-ass echo. Like a delayed echo. Did you guys hear that shit? I just heard it crack open barely. Damn, bro. This fucking house has bomb ass acoustics, homie. Oh, shit. I love it, bro. Rewind that back, bro. It's kind of like demon possessed kind of shit, bro. I'm kind of scared, to be honest. Fuck. Uh, make sure to subscribe to my, my pathetic ass channel, bro. I'm calling it pathetic because this is a pathetic attempt, but it's an attempt, bro. I'm glad it's not timed. I don't even think I'm gonna beat you, Mal. I'm like, I'm fucking fool as fuck, homie. Holy shit. I don't know how you do it, Badlands. It's good, though. That's a good part. It's good. I don't know why I said it like that, but it is good, though. Fuck, bro. I still gotta get through all this before I tell the story. Alright, I'm gonna chug it and tell the story at the same time, alright? Because I'm taking lots of breaks because I'm fool as fuck. But I'll get to it. Alright. So. I used to live in Wisconsin. I know you're thinking to yourself, you're fucking lying, bro. Mexicans don't live in Wisconsin. But, I was the only Mexican at that time living in Wisconsin, right? So I was living in Wisconsin, and I got drafted to a construction company. And you're thinking to yourself, drafted? Like, yeah, we actually had to try out for the construction company. It was different, bro. Like, you had to know how to handle your tools and shit. Like, you just couldn't fucking just be like oh here's my application like nah motherfucker you need to try out bro we need to draft you like what the fuck bro this nfl nah bro it's the ncl you know national construction league so that's what we had to do i got drafted and i'm glad bro because this company was fucking legit let me finish this one mm. Mm. So anyways, yeah, this company was fucking legit. They had, like, bomb-ass contracts, homie. Um, they had bomb-ass contracts. Here, I'll, let me do it official again. I, you guys like when I unzip it and show the chalada, right? <laughs> Doesn't even sound right. You guys like when I unzip it. All right, let's see. All right. Oh. 
bootleg das boot, homie. Yee. <laughs> All right. On deck. Crack it open. <laughs> All right. So I'm glad that I got assigned to this company, this cunt company, this com company. Sorry, I always put the word cunt in anything that sounds like it. Um, I got assigned to this company, and they ended up signing me to a contract. I was fucking blown away, bro. When they're like, "Look, we like your work," and uh, we were we were actually hired by the Egyptian government to come out and help repair the Egyptian pyramids. <laughs> And by repair, they were like supposed to update and upgrade, make sure that the pyramids were upgraded and shit. Did you hear my beer echo, homie? I don't know if you guys heard that. That was weird, bro. Either that or that was my dog. I don't know, homie. <clears throat> anyway, we're supposed to upgrade the fucking Egyptian pyramids. And I was surprised, like, bro, this is going to be dope. Are you guys serious? They're like, hell yeah. So, anyways, they flew us to Egypt. Oh, shit. We got to Egypt, I stayed at the Pharaoh Inn, and we were working out there, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so when, when we got there, we had like a week delay. So that means that we had like a week before we actually had to start working on the pyramids and shit, you know what I mean? Because there's a lot of tourists still coming through, and they actually had a certain date that they were going to shut it down for repairs. So we still had like a week delay, but they wanted us to be there at least a week early just in case. Um... But me, I was just like, fuck it. I'm going to all the Egyptian bars. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get as much Egyptian pussy as I can. So I was just doing my thing. You know what I mean? I was out there, bro. Um, and uh, I didn't give a fuck. So actually, about four days in, they were like, okay, it's time for us to start working on the pyramids. You know what I mean? We're going to start working on it. We're going to start doing the construction, doing all the upgrades and different shit. Um, I forgot that I had to be chugging this shit. Hold on. I was like, cool. Damn, bro. I think out of all the people, I'm going to have the longest time. This is crazy. <sighs> did you have an empty stomach now when you did this shit, homie? Because I just ate a bomb-ass Long John Silver's dinner and fucking goddamn, I'm full as fuck. Anyways, we started doing the uh, repairs and shit. Um, we were supposed to do the repairs, at least. <sighs> fucking fool, bro. Um... But me, I was just like, I don't give a fuck. So they called us like on a, like, I don't know if it was the third or fourth day in when we were already there. And they're like, all right, we're going to start. And I was like, oh, that's cool. But I was like, fuck it, man. I'm having so much fun at these fucking Egyptian bars and shit, these Egyptian clubs. I'm not even tripping. I'm going to go out there. I'm going to keep drinking and have fun. So I go out. I get so fucking drunk, bro. Um, knowing I had to work the next day and start on the Egyptian pyramid repairs and shit, right? So the next day, I wake up at like 5 a.m. and shit, fucking hungover as a motherfucker, right? Head out, and I'm like, you know what? I'm still going to work, you know what I mean? It's in my blood, Mexicans, you know what I'm saying? We get drunk, we have hangovers, we still go, you know what I'm saying? We have hangovers, we still parent, you know? We know our fucking duties, bro. We know our fucking responsibilities is what we do. So I head to work, and I'm working on the fucking pyramids and shit, right? So pretty much, I was assigned to just working on the outside of the pyramids. A lot of the people were uh, assigned to the inside of the pyramids, but I was assigned to, assigned to the outside of the pyramids to make sure that there was like no fucking like chunks missing and the fucking bricks and shit, you know what I mean? So I was just going around making sure everything was peachy king. I guess that's how you say it. I don't know the fucking Mao. You might know that saying. It's like a white saying, bro. Let me know. Um, so I made sure that everything was good on that front. So, um, as I was doing that, you know, I was just hella fucking drunk, bro. Like, I was still drunk, you know what I mean? Like, and it was hella hot out there. Like, you know, it was Egypt, you know what I mean? It was like fucking desert hot. And, uh, I just fucking, I almost passed out. It was crazy, bro. I helped fucking, um, repair as much as I could. But at the same time, I was just fucking just drunk, bro. So, as I was doing it, I was kind of fucking up. I wasn't doing it the way that I was supposed to do it. And I didn't know, but that day there were some Egyptian officials there that were watching to make sure that, you know, overlooking to make sure that we were doing the work right. And they're like, hey, you know, what's this dude doing, man? Like, he's not doing it right. So apparently they went to my supervisor and they're like, yeah, the guy on the outside, you know, he's not doing that shit right at all. We need you to pull him from the assignment because he doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. 
All right, before I continue on, I just gotta let you guys know that I failed, and I'm not gonna finish all four of these motherfuckers. That's just fucking crazy. I don't even think I can. It's just so much fucking liquid. So, that's why you shouldn't call me out on a fucking drinking challenge, because I can't finish that shit. <laughs> all right, let me continue on. And who knows, maybe I'll just fucking get another, like, what they call it, like, second wind, and be able to do it. So, anyways... They pulled me from the assignment because the officials had hated on me, right? So, I was just like, whatever. You know, the, the trip was paid for. We were there like a fucking month. And I had to be there the rest of the month because our uh, round trip tickets, <clears throat> excuse me, were all assigned for the same day. So, I was like, fuck it. You know, I'm just going to enjoy myself this whole time. So, I was going to the Egyptian bars, clubs, every fucking night, not giving a fuck. Because... I got a stipend. Even though I got pulled off the assignment, I still got my stipend, you know what I mean? So one of those nights, I was actually out and about, I seen one of those dudes who had me pulled from the assignment and his broad with him. I'll just leave the imagination, you know what I'm saying, to tell the rest what happened, but um, I got I got him back. You know what I mean? I got him back. If I give up, am I a bitch? All right. Uh, my dog confirmed that if I give up, I'm a bitch. <sighs> I didn't even know dogs could nod like that, bro. I think they know more than what we know, bro. Like, it's crazy. <sighs> Fuck. So fucking full, bro. The worst fucking chugger on YouTube, homie. I thought I was legit, bro, but I guess not, homie. You gotta consider your life sometimes. Like, fuck. I guess, I guess I'm not what I thought I would be. I thought I would be the best beer chugger in the world, but I'm not. This is a fucking lot of fucking gelada. There's a lot of beer, a lot of fucking tomato sauce. And I had a full ass fucking meal, homie. The truth is, before this uh, chug video, I recorded my collab video with the homie uh, Rich Mexican. And I went straight into this video. Probably wasn't the best fucking uh, idea. But, you know what? I gotta at least finish. fuck so anyways I fucked that Egyptian officials bitch and um got him back or got around that I did that and I got banned from Egypt for that shit banned from Egypt not banned from working construction in Egypt but just banned from Egypt like I could never show my face ever there again or they would fucking mummify me alive I guess what they said so I don't know bro some crazy shit don't fuck with those motherfuckers. <laughs> you know what I mean? Shit. Fuck, bro. I'm fucking full. I still got like half this and the whole one. God damn, bro. Whatever happened to Chuck from the Bronx, homie? Does anybody know about Chuck from the Bronx? Let me know in the comments below. I used to watch that fool chug and throw up all the time, bro. And whatever happened to that fool? God damn. Ah. God damn. I think I'm waving the white flag, homie. Can't do it. Don't got the capacity. Or do I? <laughs> My dog just, he's asleep. <sighs> Fuck, that's a lot of liquid on me. Well, I'll be the one that fails the challenge. Fuck it. I still got a whole nother one that I didn't chug, unopened, right here. Fail. You know what I'm saying? I got like halfway done with this one. Couldn't do it, homie, but I appreciate you calling me out. I tried. I hope you appreciate the story time. Thanks for um, watching the video. Make sure to subscribe. Look for the Mal. Look for uh, acceptance, like challenge acceptance channel. <laughs> Can't even fucking talk, right? We just had a party foul in the background, bro. My dog. You guys might hate on me. Don't call the police and shit. Like, especially the pet police. But I put beer in my dog's bowl. And he spilled it over, bro. That's still a party foul. I don't care if you're a dog or if you're a human, bro. Like, don't be spilling beer and shit. You know what I'm saying? That actually makes me want to complete this challenge. Hold on. Okay, I can't. Never mind. I tried. I'm gone, y'all. Thanks for checking in. Subscribe. Hit that bell button if you like bell bottom 
pants and shit, alright? I'm gone. Subscribe to the homie. Thanks. I'm drunk as fuck. I'm gone. I can't believe I gave up.